we have to review something that I've been predicting and many other people have been predicting. The alarming rise of eggless, childless women who become old, demented, and psychotic, just like a lot of women that are younger also. But because they're so desperate in combination with their childlessness, and they can't understand that when you pass the wall, there's no going back. When you, It doesn't matter that you can look attractive or, or look by the standard of modern beauty, a nice-looking 40-year-old, you are simply not interesting for reproduction. So you're playing a totally different game of parasitism for no reason at all of a man if you're trying to date at those ages. And here we have a perfect meltdown illustrating what many men have been alarmed and call, have been calling out a warning signal. We will be we will be we will have a society filled with such women because of the increased anti-natalist propaganda because of the career-based propaganda, because of all these messages that say, don't get children, it's bad for the environment, it's bad for you. All of this uh, will lead to a lot of childless women who are just begging for sexual attention to the point of absolute psychosis. Hi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So here she's standing at the bar, kind of. So, so that's a airport. Uh, so it's an airport. At the airport, you can go at the bar, and some people will drink a lot. You know, they will feel in this kind of airport mood, where you're gonna be there for hours anyway. Uh, there's nothing else you ha you can do uh, other than waiting for your plane. So some people will get drunk and will get in a party ambience. She's there smiling and appearing like she wants to be approached. Amalia Joy. Okay. Amalia Joy. Alia Joy, that would be her name. Amalia. Amalia. A -M -A Amalia Joy. A-L-I-A-J-O-Y. J-O-Y? Joy. You can find me on a dot .com, but I've been trying to switch to dot .love. So she can be found on the internet. Is she? Does she have her own dot .love dot .com, her own website to attract males? I'll talk right here in front of other people. Yeah. I'm not going to talk alone with you, though, man. You got too much heavy weights on both of you. So she says, you, you two are too fat to, because someone asked, asked her, who are you talking to? She, she's kind of talking alone. And she says, well, I'm talking to a lot of people. A lot of people are right there in front of me. <laughs> well, technically, okay, that's correct. A lot of people are hearing her. So she's, <laughs> she's not talking alone. And now she says to the guy who has this, but forget about this, you're too fat. Thank you. Yeah, no, don't come after me like that. Not with all your weapons, your man. Look at me. Yeah, no, I don't think you are, man. I Look at me. Well, you seem like an eggless woman. I got just water in my hands. I have nothing to talk about. I got nothing to say to you, Mr. Desmond. Yes, you It's Kwong. Yeah. No. No, man. I've already I found my voice. I'm not I found my voice. So she is a liberated woman. She has found who she truly was. She is a psychotic bar uh, drunk. Cage me, man. Cages have been broken. I'll sing. We can talk. Is, it... is that your daughter scared? Is that your daughter? It is. Yes, these men are scaring me. And I. So now it seems that there may be a security guard or maybe employee and she's starting to do this whole, th these guys are scaring me, they are abusing me. I had to run. So look, look him in the eye and tell him that they're not here to scare me. 
So she wants the employee to, to scold them and say, don't scare this woman. Look at him in the eye because I know that I'm okay. I'm good. I just... <laughs> not sure about that woman. Thank you. Would you like to walk with me? Because I'm not willing to walk alone. Will you tell them I'm right here? Let them come to me. I'm waiting for the flight. Yeah. You can't leave us back. So you can't leave. Oh. I can walk with you. Would that be okay? Yes. And so this uh, social worker, fat woman, I mean, I I'm calling her a social worker. I don't know that she is, but she's acting like one. She volunteers to be the caretaker of this schizophrenic woman. She says, I can take her and supervise her until we get to the plane, if that's what you guys want, if that's what you want. So she asks for her consent to be our chaperone until the plane arrives so that, you know, we don't have a case of crazy woman in the plane. Hey, How can you say no to her? Are you kidding me? Well, you're going to say no I'm to not, her? I'm not your best friend. And so she says, I'm not your best friend, but I'm here to help. But I'm here to help you, okay? Listen to the women. No. And now she has turned toward victimizing this fat woman for uh, offering help. You were running up and down, kind of acting cray cray. Okay, man, how are you <laughs> so, sometimes. Your hands behind your back. Okay. Uh, well, are you guys okay? See me arrested like this? Where are you right now, me? you're detained, so please place your hands behind your back. Okay, Mr. Okay? Bacon and Mr. Dimmitt. Mr. Bacon and Mr. Dimmitt. <laughs> please Dimmit? place your hands behind your back. Sweetie, you gotta let go. I oh, want sorry, everybody to know where they're taking me. Because this is the Hotel California, and they're never coming back. This is like Hotel California. Uh, and what what are the lyrics of Hotel California? The, you can uh, stay however long you want, but you can never leave. <laughs> she believes they're about to butcher her. <laughs> oh, this is like Hotel California. And the fat woman now regrets offering her help because she is... She is now the the thing that this woman holds on to to not get captured by the police. You take me now? You're, you're, then I'm never coming back! <laughs> you're not, I'm never coming back! Uh, I, I think it's fine for everyone if you're not ever coming back. I think uh, someone like you would benefit from just traveling in car. Everyone's just going to stand there and watch? Well, what do you want them to do? You've been a drunk public person. You're getting arrested. That is what happened. I'm not. I'm not. They said I'm mad. And my children? My children love me. You're going to break my wedding? Oh, she has children. Uh, my children love me. But as you will see in the arrest, she, even if she has children... She is looking for a boyfriend because she will ask, actually, the policeman to kiss her. Ring and I've never been married. I've never She's never been married, but she has a wedding ring. And we should be careful not to break her wedding ring. I've never been married. And everyone's just going to let this happen. Yeah, it's not clear. Perhaps the children were imaginary. I don't know. Uh, but she's never been married, but she has children. This is exactly happening this is exactly what has been happening so people arresting her and cuffing her now this is where you understand what's going on it is a psychotic breakdown of uh, sexual desire. She, w the issue that she takes is that she is not being sexually desired. Because here she just yelled at the police, come on, kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. And tell me who's the head on to here. What, I'm not hot enough for you? I'm not hot enough for you. I'm not hot enough? I'm not hot enough. I'm not sexy enough? I'M NOT SEXY ENOUGH! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, and now she spits at the face of the police. Tell me I'm fucking hot! Tell me I'm fucking hot. Uh, she's experiencing uh, all sorts of conflictual emotions, but eventually they capture her and... Uh, yeah, so... Perhaps she experiences the conflictual kind of rapish situation of being arrested. Perhaps it excited her. Or perhaps she was thrown into a psychotic episode out of despair uh, for not having a husband. She says she hasn't been married. Did she make these babies with uh, fathers, like with weird fathers that disappeared? Or, or did she make them under insemination or something like this? Without uh, without known fathers, um, it, it's it's interesting that it shows right now, uh, months after many people have been warning, we will have an epidemic, an epidemic of uh, females who are desperate, who have been trained to be objects of desires, but who haven't been properly explained. After thirty five years old, you are nothing other than what you have already accomplished. Now, it's a long-ass amount of time that you're going to have to pass without a single iota of value on the dating market because the average life expectancy for a woman is some, something like 76, 78, 80 years. After 35, you are worth nothing in the reproductive domain. So that is uh, 35, 40, 45 years of your life that you will spend where the only thing that you'll be able to grab on emotionally to say, I've accomplished something in life is what you're going to have done before 35 years old and how you're going to have raised these children as they got older. Go away, says Jeff. We need to shut down international flights until we can flatten the curve of the psychotic woman pandemic. That's a curve you'll never flatten. Go away, but that would be a great idea if we could do anything about it.